Ladies and gentlemen, we've got quite a race on tap for us right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got quite a race on tap for us right now. All the stars from yesterday in the line here. At our Essex County Gloucester course today, Richard Freeze. This is going to be quite a show. We're going to get ourselves sorted out. We'll be rolling up. So we're going to be going off UCI points to fill the front row here at the ECB Cross. Couldn't be better. Good little snow in my Back if you're not in the top ten, you set points here. Try not to have to fly back. You guys give it up here. A bigger blade? Uh, What's up? Okay, you ready? One more body. Give me one more job. Stay here and help. Actually, I will make that a Super Cup standard as of now. Yeah, every week, Steve. We get this show underway. Yeah. Yeah. Electronic? 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 Yeah. Electronic?
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, from where I am right now, I'm going to Let me know if I'm bugging you. I had my lamp. Oh. <laughs> Travis, Chance is leading for Vegas. Chance is leading for Vegas, and they emerge from the woods together. And here comes Collison. Collison's in charge. Chance is leading for Vegas. Chance is This is a very exciting race. Well, Johnson and Verbeckin, Johnson and Verbeckin leading the leading duo now has McCormick and Gullickson and Wedge in hot pursuit. They are working their way up the slippery slope. Here come Justin Robinson right there, Alex Candelaria, Sean McMillan, that means he's hit the gap. That's exactly right, we've got quite a gap. Back in the equipment, we're going to have a busy, busy day in the kit, and this is a third. McCoy, right now. Oh, Justin! 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 Oh, Just
Opportunity to the pitch again. Just came. He did his own mic cheat. No mechanic for the Santa Cruz boys this weekend, and he is back in the race. We are watching the leaders navigate the sand right now. I look way down close as our leaders are charging through. And now Rebecca Lee Johnson. Rebecca is moved to the front. These guys may very well be working together, taking turns pulling. No, no, he's pushing really hard. Rebecca is charging, and Tim Johnson needs to respond. They said that he would be the first truly great American college rider, but he's showing up today. Oh, 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 Here comes Martin Cordo trying to get across. Rebecca is coming at you hard. Rebecca is charging hard. Johnson is trying to get her eight miles to go. Rebecca on the saddle. Johnson there. Giving nothing of it. Not letting an inch go by. Going very strong now. McCormick also wide and does this race so well. Shadowing every move the largest rider takes. Go, 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 go. So hard to stay on, but I'm watching now. He has hard on, and then it's McCormick and Gullickson riding the diesel. They are just trying to slowly back by that from where they can, trying to eat away. Look at Scott. Come on, Jeff. Yeah, straight through that group. Come on. Look at that all star group of four right there. Come on, JD. Let's get to this group. Let's go. Just in the Robinson Brigade, that's part of the group head liner in there too. Pulling through, that is five for eight, and they have got quite the race in the land. I tell you what, we don't know what's been going on down there. It's hard to get down there and report to you, but down at the seawall, it is all turning over each and every time. It's a jumble group that comes out of the woods there. For Vecken leads Johnson, for Vecken leads Johnson, here they go. And they're shadowing each other. The previous laps we saw the other way around. Now they flip flop. They're taking pulls. They're taking turns. This is around the crazy hairpin that has challenged the racer so much. One, two, over the very high hurdles. And here we go. There it is for Beckman. So clean. Same with Johnson on the bike. Pedal stroke for pedal stroke. A great performance. Richard Freeze, unbelievable. Here they come towards you. Whoa, Johnson and Verbeckin are right there. Johnson and Verbeckin are right there. Johnson's riding with him. Gullickson's right there. Look at the fire in Gullickson's eyes. Skip on the bell track right now in New England. Fire in Gullickson's eyes. McCormick's on it, the national champions. Everybody in the top four is a national champion here. Unbelievable. The 2000 national champion in second place. The 1999 national champion. He's there in third place with Mark Gullickson. Then you've got Mark McCormick, 1997 national champion. And they're all trying to catch the world champion. Big time bell check for the Chasers, New England. Right now, Johnny Sun, number 11, ready for K2, charging hard. He's got Bird's New England championship jersey on his shoulders, being hunted down like a... Banshee by Alex Candelario, the Candyman, and Justin Robinson, Peter Wedge, your Canadian champion, right in that great train. Has to be a good frame. McCormick is going across. McCormick is going across. Young Todd Wells, the new phenom on the mountain bike. But McCormick Mongoose is on his way. But McCormick has got the fire back, Richard. Well, this is great cross. I think all of New England was stunned by Rebecca yesterday. But today they woke up, came out. Look at McCormick. He's physical. You can see him going right across that gap. Going faster. All the way up the wedge. He is just a missile going across. This is the day that we expect in New England that we can stand up to the world. Now Rebecca is going to apply the power tools. Rebecca's looking through the toolbox right now. He's running. I've tried the jigsaw. I've tried the circular saw. I've tried the pneumatic drill. Look what pull out this tool right now. Watch Rebecca go. Here he is out of the saddle. Can Johnson stick? Can Johnson stick? Johnson's on fire. And Johnson will attack. Johnson will attack. Johnson will attack. Johnson will attack. Johnson attacks. Johnson attacks. Taking a measure of Rebecca. A smart move on the outside. Oh, my God. Right there, right now, 
seven laps to go, according to Diane Bertini, seven laps to go in this race as we are now winding up big time for a great event. We are almost halfway through all of the week. Now we are looking for the emergence of Galaxin and McCormick. They're closing to a Sigma. They're closing. That's right. The Mongoose Rider pulling McCormick right along. And they are almost to the Tucson off the front. The Stars and Stripes for Hunt and Shear. Closing hard. They're clean back on the night. Johnson taking a measure. Left behind him. Taking inventory. The Stars are up on it in very good form. Shadowing every move. Let's not trip change that Star Select Rider. You know what he's doing. Series leader Jersey, Frank McCormick, the big bridge, all the way up to Sun, right behind Sun, Peter Wedge. We've got Alex Candelario and the very powerful Justin Robinson, ladies and gentlemen. Sun leads McCormick, leads Wedge, leads Candelario and Robinson. Five, six, seven, eight, nine places right there, Richard. You're looking great, Alex. Well, right now, we're looking out over the lower section of the course, waiting for the emergence. All these third place, waiting to see what would happen. Come on, Todd. Scott, but today, America, we are fighting for the lead with Tim Johnson in the Stars and Stripes. Lately, there's been a lot of stars banging. Oh, what is this for Beck and his bottle? No. Hold on, they're robbing around with Beck and bottle in the middle of the sand pit. Now, here goes. Johnson's back on the bike. Rebecca is closing on him. And Johnson's out of the saddle. Johnson's out of the saddle. Johnson's right there. Johnson's got a stick. Johnson's got a stick right here. Here goes Johnson. He's got to be powerful. Johnson's got to be powerful here. Look at Verbeck and putting his back into it. Johnson's right there. Verbeck and slips a little. And here goes Johnson. Unbelievable power. Unbelievable response. Come on, Johnson. Keep it up. Keep it up. Jersey on his shoulders. Right now, Johnson responds in beautiful fashion, Richard. The bell doing the powerful attack. Get there. Kelly's got to get there. Kelly's got to get there. Kelly's going to go there right now with Mark McCormick. Mark McCormick right there shadowing Elder from last year, the series winner. And Richard, as we said before, that fight for fifth is a fistful right now. And it seems to be, it seems to be sunk in front. Look at Verbeck and go again, but Johnson is sticking New England! Johnson is sticking! A powerful ride from your national champion, young Tim Johnson, not quite the age of the Oregon Seal jersey. Star select rider, a very experienced rider, but not to be outdone by young Tim Johnson. The Saturn rider responding very nicely as they head on their way back to the far side of the course, Richard. Johnson responds! 
full of body English out of the saddle. Johnson is trying to bring it back to the penalty, but we have to see. Meanwhile, McCormick is trying to ride away with third, but frankly, the Mongoose rider Gullison is having none of that, Richard. Five to go for our leaders as they come through the finishing arc. Five to go as our leaders pass under. Third place and fourth place on their way up the road. They have again together. Trying to reel in first and second, Richard, but I gotta tell you, first and second are a long way up the road. Meanwhile, it's Frank McCormick. Frank is riding away from this group. Our favorite Frank McCormick, Richard. Unbelievable, doing a great job up front as our main protagonists are deep in the woods down by the seawall now. We're going to have to wait and see who emerges first. We think it could be Verbeck and Johnson recovering. Johnson not far behind, might give it a gap of about five seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, now is the time to dig deep, give a bell check, make those hands, make noise, pound on anything. Back through the hair pin, running over the hurdles. Johnson's there, but he needs your help. Dig deep for Tim Johnson, right now the national champion, trying to get back on the first left ladder, so it's moving over the top. Right now, the Mongoose Come rider back, digging deep the road. Two down to four. On the saddle, charging hard they go. McCormick and Gully. Gully and McCormick on the way down to the back side. And we are looking down range for Johnson and our leader, Vervec. And where are they right now, Richard? Now, we are in the waning laps of this race. Very little time left as we watch Frank McCormick steam away from his fellow contenders. Go, Frank go, Signs of the chairman. He's always been Frank McCormick charging on the side rider. Wants to move his way up, Richard. He is charging hard. Right now in the lower section, Vervecken continues to go. It's in his Rocky Balboa. Vervecken is Apollo Creed. And Vervecken is saying, stay down. Why won't you stay down? And he won't stay down. It is unbelievable. Johnson's the Rocky Balboa. And he's taking it to Apollo Creed right now. Vervecken has got to dig deep into the colors of his world championship jersey but the stars and stripes will not fall today the stars and stripes will fly right now the heart concealed jersey working his way around for the next lap car johnson not giving an inch trying to maintain every inch every foot that verbeckin is working on Rebeckin right now rounding the corner heading towards the pavement. They're working their way through back corners at this point. Here's where it gets dangerous, Richard. There's obstacles on the course, rolling chicanes, back markers to pick their way through. Here comes Johnson in pursuit of Rebeckin. Rebeckin is just going with all he's got. Now what it will take to fix him. And McCormick are dueling still. Gullickson has dirt on his right side. That means he's hit the deck once out there. They go into the sand pits. And right now, it is a great duel for third between Gullickson and McCormick as they unfold. And emerging from the lower deck, it's Frank Mudwells and Peter Wedge and Johnny the Cat Sun. Chris, you're on the other side, but down here it's Frank McCormick redeeming himself, bringing back the form that once come. Peter's got four laps to go on their way through the start finish arch. Our, our scoring official showing four to go. Four laps for Johnson to make full measure of that rainbow jersey. Those colors run very deep right now, and we need to get an EMT. We need medical down by the water below. Of course, heading down towards the seawall, we need to get medical down below by the seawall as quickly as possible. Richard? Sun racing there, and Sun just there with Peter Wedge, the Canadian national champion. Hats off to the crowd here for enduring this mist, but I hope the riders have responded with a great show today, as we have got a fantastic group. We have the past the seawall, and they have got quite a fight on their hands. Erwin Vervecki. Mark and Shield, the rainbow jersey. There's Johnson. Johnson's there. We're going to give that about five or six seconds. Johnson's digging hard now. Richard, he's got to bring that forward. It must be four laps. 
And the rain is picking up here. Vervekin's looking over. Vervekin steps over the hurdles. Vervekin's right there. Johnson's gaining. Johnson's gaining. Johnson's quick to the hurdles. Johnson's quick to the hurdles. Johnson's there. Johnson's there. Johnson's right on. Here's Gullickson though, and he is taking out the Taurus. Mark McCormick's right there, struggling with vision a little bit in the muddy conditions. McCormick, perfect as always. McCormick, powerful as always, as he is laying down some stick. I believe it is. There'll be three laps to go when they hit the line. And now they're powering on. Gully are both section of the course, out from where the riders emerge. We have a rider down that needs medical attention. And several times over, charging hard, the Saturn rider, a secure fifth place right now with his catch. With all he's got, and here is the Runners, can he pull him in? Well, right here is where Vervecken really applies the torque. He throws everything into how he comes out of transitions. When he's getting the bike up to speed, he throws everything into that. But Johnson is proving his match. Look at Johnson, just 24 years old, throwing everything he's got in that young body into the machine. Now the Gullickson McCormick duel continues. Gullickson's right there. Really very savvy road racer, a very savvy cross racer as well. They are pulling together as they get three to go across the line. McCormick and Gullickson, two up. former yeah. champions, both national and super cup. As Frank McCormick, Frank McCormick away. He's having a great time of it, learning his cycle cross skills as he goes in his second year of racing cross. John he's got Johnson on his radar screen. He knows he can ease up a little bit, but not too much because Johnson is pushing hard. He's trying to close that gap, that eight-second gap, Richard. There's Vervekin over the top. Well, Vervekin's remounts are perfect, but Johnson may be the next one that's just as nervous. Look at Johnson right in. Johnson's actually moving up a little bit. It is a draw right here. And Vervekin, look at him. Vervekin just applying the heat. Turning up the heat on the serve is Rebeckin. Here's Rebeckin. Johnson's out of the saddle though, not quitting at all. And it's Frank McCormick became the king of American cyclocross. But Chris will probably make some new kings. Here we go. Vervecken comes out of the saddle with the ferocity of a rodeo rider. He is about to rip the bars off that bike. Johnson has the speed. Johnson has the skill. Vervecken is all powerful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, he's about to, though. Oh, he is pretty close. Rich is not lying.
Okay, thanks, Sam. See you guys. Okay. <laughs> thanks, Sammy. Cheers, Frank.